Hey guys, hope you are doing well. So we are heading into the weekend and it seems to be the market is in green. My name is Mike Denkler from CoreMX and we are bringing you the most important crypto news, technical analysis, altcoin, NFT, DeFi gems to keep you updated and educated. I should state that nothing in this video can be considered as a financial investment advice. So everything just for your education and entertainment purposes only. So smash those like, push the bell and notification or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Smashing those like is helping out the YouTube algorithm. So be sure smashing those like and appreciate all your likes. So guys, let's go and dive into our today uh, topics. Uh, what are our favorite bubble chart showing to us that Bitcoin is slightly up uh, just a little bit about zero and Ethereum is up almost 3% BNB Binance coin up 6% and we see most of the altcoins are in red especially Dogecoin, Heli uh, HT, Quant, uh, Optos, BNB, Casper and, and GRT so guys let's go and check out our favorite indicator the crypto fear and greed index it is at 20, uh, 22 so still in the extreme fear zone and nothing special happened in the past few weeks we dropped back to this low 20 uh, zone and uh, fear is dominating the market out there let's go and check out our first news Belgium says BTC, Ethereum and other decentralized coins are not securities. So guys, this is an important news. Belgium take on what conditions must be met in order for a crypto asset to be classed as a security are in contrast to the views of the US uh, SEC Chairman Gary Kanzler. So maybe they are talking to each other. Okay, if there is no issuer and as in cases where instruments are created by a computer code and this is not done in execution of an agreement between issuer and investor for example bitcoin or ether then in uh, principle the prospectus regulation the prospectus law and the mifid rules of the conduct uh, not, not to apply nevertheless if the instruments have a payment or exchange function other regulations may apply to the instruments or the person who provides certain services relating to the issued instruments so guys uh, with this most of the altcoins uh, should be considered as security there is uh, uh, no mentioning about the DAO tokens and other uh, type of tokens but hope uh, we will get some more clarity here next piece of news is 165 million us dollar in bitcoin linked to empty gox suddenly moves as quant analyst issues warning yes so this is not good as this huge amount of bitcoin is uh, moving seven year old 10,000 btc moved today no surprise it's from criminals like most all the old bitcoins uh, is the btc e exchange wallet related to the 2014 empty gox hack they sent 65 btc to hit btc a few hours ago so it's not a government action or something while they don't care it's uh, 55x uh, profit from the uh, from them anyway they got these bitcoins when the price was almost 300 uh, us dollar and the btc price is now at 16 000, uh, uh, so approximately profit that uh, and loss is uh, 55 times I'm not saying that there is going to sell all these uh, 100 uh, all these 10,000 bitcoins we never know when they will sell the rest of the BTC what we know is that uh, 10,000 BTC was moved by criminals and could be potential sell side liquidity since they sent 0.6 their assets to exchanges but they sent it to uh, hit BTC and also hit BTC just uh, blacklisting these uh, wallets so I don't think that they can sell on uh, exchanges next will bitcoin hit 110,000 us dollar in 2023 three reasons to be bullish on btc now stocks rally could produce 110,000 btc price bitcoin moves as a risk assets not like gold when sps uh, explodes higher in blue of top towards 5,700 and 6,000 target area bitcoin should reach uh, 19 to 110,000 so final rally before deflationary bust so the plan is according to this analyst that the, if S&P will pumping up then BTC will pumping to one uh, 100,000 US dollar indicator bull, uh, bull uh, divergence echoes March 2020 
Uh, this indi indicates the weakening of downtrend momentum, part of uh, accompanying Twitter comments, BTC may pick up a massive rally. Alan uh, Tardigrade, the trader who is doing this and actually he found some bullish divergence, uh, OBV uh, smoothly line and also this is the OBV line so this is RSI that they are using here and similar pattern that uh, we have seen in March 2020 that was in March 2020 and uh, now we have this and this can um, maybe repeat but uh, maybe just rhyme but not repeat uh, at exactly. Trader RSI bull bullish divergence is first for Bitcoin. Every bull market peak BTC formed a bearish divergence on RSI followed by a bear market correction. Uh, this is the first time ever BTC is printing a bullish divergence on weekly probably nothing. So this is the 2013 peak, bearish divergence, bear market, um, bearish divergence in 2017 peak, bear market, bearish divergence in uh, last year May, bear market. And now this is the first time on a weekly chart that we see a bullish divergence. Next piece of news is you need to go through crises. Cathy Wood says this crypto crash is a massive opportunity. Still sees Bitcoin soaring 6,000% to 1 million. Here are he, her free, free big sector bets. Th that he is, she is betting on this. So let's go and check this further. So let's see what Cathy uh, Wood is saying about the 1 million bitcoin prize and when so guys we when asked whether she still holds her bitcoin forecast of 1 million per coin by 2013 during a bloomberg interview her answer was yes so 1 million per bitcoin uh, at 2013 so by 2013 sometimes you need to battle test you need to go through crisis to see the survivors first of all okay once they actually do the homework uh, uh, she's talking about the institutional investors once they actually do the homework and uh, see what's happened here i think they might be more comfortable moving into bitcoin and perhaps ether as a first step so uh, bitcoin currently trader trades at around 16,400. Uh, her 1 million US dollar price target implies a potential upside of almost 6,000 percentage. Guys, let's go and check out our next news. Crypto Trader details massive price target for Litecoin. Says LTC could lead altcoin charge. Quite interesting because uh, always a Litecoin is uh, showing the direction to Bitcoin. Uh, okay. Target wise, I'm not looking to see at 100 US dollar. I'm looking for somewhere between 160 to 200 and around 300 and 400 would be interesting to me. I could see this making to the all time high. I didn't really do too much during the bull market and it uh, has the chart set up to make that happen. So actually the Litecoin charts looks pretty bullish for now and if uh, this is happening then why not uh, but this is just uh, assumption so nothing as technical i'm going to play litecoin and if that runs early i might rotate into other things but for now i'm going to stick with uh, the one that i'm reasonably certain if altcoins go up litecoin will go up harder if altcoins go down litecoin will go down a little bit less I think Litecoin is a good trade in general, so based on that there is a little reason for me to go elsewhere because I think this has quite uh, the big upside, why not being as risky as other things. Okay guys, so I'm not sure if Litecoin uh, as Litecoin is uh, actually a copy of Bitcoin and a lot of testing uh, are just uh, proceed, uh, proceeded on uh, Litecoin. Um, but uh, the main developments is going on on Ethereum and other layer ones. But uh, yeah, so this is how we can play this. Next, Jump Crypto Aptos Labs commit to Binance led 1 billion recovery fund. Binance said it plans to increase the fund to 2 billion 
as it expects participation to increase. So Binance uh, just uh, at her uh, at uh, their own wants to increase the funds to two billion. If that's not enough, one billion we can allocate more. And and also I think after that there was a news that they allocated one billion more. So Binance allocated two billion in the funds, and after the collapse of FTX, Celsius, Voyager, Free Arrow Capital, BlockFi, and uh, lots of bankruptcy, these funds will get a huge uh, uh, rule in, in the recovery in the crypto company scheme. Next, Binance US to bid for crypto lender Voyager. CZ confirms. So as you know, Voyager now given FTX is no longer able to uh, follow through on the commitment. And that is why it seems that Voyager is also is not liquid anymore. I think the U.S. National Security Concerns were rumors spread by FTX to try and push us out of the bid. Uh, CZ said there was never any concerns about us participating in the bid. And also he's saying that I'm Canadian citizen, period. Uh, okay. So guys, uh, that would be nice if uh, uh, Binance can rescue Voyager, but we'll see. Next. Ethereum developers decided on eight proposals for the Shanghai update. So uh, the next big uh, hard fork will be the Shanghai update. And uh, there are several proposals with different AIP uh, uh, numbers and all, all these are just sub developments. And with this adding all together, this um, EVM and AIP uh, things that uh, Shanghai hard fork will happen so uh, one of the main features expected to be in a shanghai hard fork beacon chain staked ether is set to be unlocked allowing the assets will be able to be withdrawn with the upgrade meaning that users uh, with staked ethereum prior to the merge will be able to access those tokens as well as any of other rewards a previous timeline anticipated locked ethereum to be accessible 6 to 12 months after the merge and with this Shanghai hard fork, it seems that it will uh, be unlocked before than expected. Guys, huge news and also some uh, security cons concerns about that, that MetaMask will start collecting user IP addresses. And guys, in crypto, you know that uh, the main thing that your privacy and your security and also uh, you have to use VPN in order to uh, to, in order to save your funds uh, from from hackers and save your uh, save your uh, privacy details from hackers, but as MetaMask uh, uh, is starting collecting your IP addresses and also uh, they are con uh, collecting your wallet addresses, this is not that we want to see uh, when we are admiring privacy. So uh, be cautious and definitely use VPN. You find the link. Uh, there is a Black Friday uh, special offer, almost 60% down. So either you choose the standard or plus, you are well secure because tracker, ad blocker, malware uh, protection, and this is masking your IP address. So you can uh, just uh, use the internet. For, uh, let, let's, uh, it's showing that you are uh, in a other country and not in uh, your home and this is quite interesting against hackers and just defending your privacy so take this opportunity this black friday discounts and uh, just order your uh, vpn from nordvpn you find the link in the description so guys what else do we have let's go and check out my twitter feed i share lot, lots of stuff here definitely follow me at miklos denkler also be sure to follow Korean platform and also our nft launchpad project uh, underscore laserpunk underscore gods so there is an uh, there is a, a, a analysis about the grayscale btc and the analysts just uh, verified that they have this 633,000 BTC uh, holdings. Bitcoin number of addresses holding one plus coins just reached an all-time high. So insane that uh, 
addresses with more than one BTC reached almost 1 million. So 1 million addresses and even Bitcoin price is going down, uh, Bitcoin address is going up and give a like and share this. Yes, definitely follow LaserPunks and uh, being engaged because uh, lots of uh, other things, whitelisting and other things will happening and happy Thanksgiving uh, to all of you if you are celebrating. And despite the downtrend in crypto, uh, Bitcoin address is holding 0 0.1 uh, Bitcoin uh, reached all time high at 4 million, 4 million Bitcoin addresses below 0 0.1 bitcoin uh, about 0 0.1 bitcoin and even the price going down uh, this is going parabolic give a like and share okay check out korea Inrex also listed on radio shack and uh, this is a decentralized exchange just uh, start to use this despite bitcoin price has been falling long-term holders continue loading up so this chart is showing up that Bitcoin price is going down and uh, uh, long-term hodlers um, 30 day moving averages is going up. So this is uh, the supply that uh, uh, had by long-term hodlers. BTC witnessed a typical bear market capitulation. It's realized profit and loss ratio hits re record low levels. So this is the profit and loss record low. And as you see after this, things uh, we are we are just around the capitulation and starting a new cycle the first test if bitcoin cvdd floor price cr uh, created uh, uh, by willy Wu, the market uh, perceives a higher floor so this is by on-chain analyst willy Wu, and uh, he has this uh, CVDD I don't know the exact what uh, these things is measuring but I think uh, uh, different things and uh, combining uh, mm, different things and this can indicating uh, a bottom what is driving the USD strengthening and where is heading check this thread so why the DXY in the US dollar is strengthening check this thread an inver inverted BTC chart indicating the next bull run is starting soon and BTC may go as high as 140,000 US dollar as we are looking and this is the inverted chart and as it's continued that uh, almost 140,000 Bitcoin price some bullish signs on the weekly Bitcoin chart as uh, we already talked about this tiny bullish divergence and also the this uh, MetaMask IP addresses. So here is the link. Also, you find the link in this tweet. A must to use VPN, and there is a link. So guys, that's it. Uh, uh, definitely follow me on Twitter because uh, I I share a lot of great content here. And uh, be sure just uh, push this bell notification on. Guys, let's go and uh, check out our farms. Go to Uniswap and Can PancakeSwap, provide some liquidity and lock up your LPs and earn a juicy APRs up to 330%. And then uh, uh, also you can, you can farm on uh, the BSC farm and on the Ethereum farm. So guys, what is Bitcoin doing? So Bitcoin is consolidating after dropping down to the lower level of this uh, trend line uh, uh, lower level of this point of control now we are uh, back in the middle and this is uh, this is where the most volume was traded so now we are consolidating here and uh, to the upside almost 17,000 in the in is the resistance to the downside we have uh, 15,000 almost 15,900 as a support as we, we have Thanksgiving, uh, uh, I think uh, not too much will happen, but at least Bitcoin broke up out from this kind of bull flag here. But uh, the max target uh, would be somewhere at 17,000. BNB is doing well, our BNB long position, printing well, and we are moving our stop loss uh, to a higher levels and now also taking some profits here. So guys, smash those like, push the bell notification or be sure just uh, following uh, uh, me on Twitter and following also Coriolanx and see you in the next video. Bye bye.